All right, in this video, we're going to look at gas transport in the blood. So uh, how are, you know, the two big ones, right, carbon dioxide and oxygen, physically, how are they carried through the bloodstream as they kind of make it from the heart to the body, back to the heart, and then back to the lungs, okay? So these are the two we're going to focus on. For carbon dioxide, there's actually three ways that this guy's sort of carried through, right? The first one is it can be dissolved in the blood. Uh, the second is that it can actually be bound to hemoglobin, and then I'm going to abbreviate hemoglobin with HB. And the third is as a compound called bicarbonate. This is bicarbonate. So when I say as bicarbonate, I mean that there's a reaction that occurs in the blood where the carbon dioxide is actually converted into bicarbonate. This is a whole different video. But as it turns out, these two are minor. And this one is by far the major way that carbon dioxide is transferred through the blood. Uh, I've even seen this as high as like 90%. Uh, I've seen a book that said that this was like 90% of all of carbon dioxide's actually transported as bicarbonate. So remember, this isn't so intuitive. You would think that, oh, well, carbon dioxide diffuses into the blood and it's just kind of sitting in the blood till it gets to the lungs and then it goes away. Turns out that's not accurate. The vast majority of this is converted into bicarb and then converted back into carbon dioxide in the lungs where it can be expelled. For oxygen, there's only really two primary ways. It can be dissolved in the blood. So just kind of, uh, when I say dissolved in the blood, I mean it's kind of, hey, look at it, it's like floating around in the blood. The other way is bound to hemoglobin. So <coughs> as it turns out, this one is by far the majority. And this is the minority. So this is the important one. One hemoglobin molecule actually binds four oxygen molecules. Hemoglobin is a protein that's carried in red blood cells. And one of them, again, carries four oxygen molecules. Remember that this is the vast majority of oxygen is transported through the blood by being carried by hemoglobin. The amount of oxygen in the blood actually stays pretty constant. It's the amount that's dissolved in hemoglobin that changes when we take the oxygen from the blood and when the lungs kind of put it back. When, we're when, when that transfer occurs, it's, being, it's occurring on the hemoglobin molecule itself. All right, so keep these in mind as we move forward. 